Hello from Queen Mary 2 for part 2 of the refit update video and these are some more changes to the ship that I have noticed whilst I've been on board in 2024. Externally you can see the lifeboats and tenders have been given a repaint and refresh. They're looking very orange and almost like new once again. Now I did showcase the changes in the Britannia restaurant, particularly the carpets and the chairs. But what I didn't mention was that the dome that sits on top of this room has been reworked with brand new lighting. And this changes throughout the day and really does make this space really visually appealing. And it looks completely different throughout the day and into the evening when it goes as dark blue. Externally, there's also been some changes made to the swimming pool areas. The tiling around the pools has been refreshed. You can particularly notice this around the minnows pool at the aft end of the ship and also the terrace pool that is located towards the aft of the vessel but several decks higher. Now this means that the area is looking more visually appealing. There's also extra LED lighting that's been added to the space that illuminates at night. Heading back inside and in illuminations you'll notice that the red recliner chairs have been replaced. A number of these were broken for several years and so now all of the chairs recline very well underneath that planetarium dome. There's also been some changes made to several of the yellow chairs that sit around these areas and the way you can tell them apart is that the new chairs do not have the large headrest that sticks out on the original seating. Now I mentioned that the grills lounge had also been refreshed and this is what it looks like. Uh, the grills lounge has got new carpeting, updated furniture and a new sort of visual aspect to the space that gives it a little bit more dimension than what it had when it was originally there. I think a lot of people who visit the grills lounge regularly and travel in grills class are really happy to see these updates. Also the princess grill has been given a retreatment as well with new carpeting and new chairs throughout the space. The chairs are done in both a dark blue as well as a cream color and the carpeting there has been updated to match the new style that's seen throughout much of Queen Mary 2's internal spaces. The Queen's Grill restaurant also appears to have had its carpets refreshed but looks very similar to what it did before the refit. Now some behind the scenes impact that has happened throughout the refit includes the addition of new LED lighting throughout the Royal Court Theatre and this really does make the illumination in this space really stand out and of course it has that wonderful LED screen there that is so fantastic for both the shows and also the lectures that are given in this space. Now I have spoken about the Queen's Room refit in my part one video, but the dance floor here that you can see is the new dance floor. However, in the center of the space, you will find the original Queen Mary II seal that has been preserved from the original dance floor and it has been relayed in the center of the room. Also on the bow, you'll notice that the captain's cufflinks or the spare propeller blades have all been replaced. And last year when I was on board the ship, several of these were missing as they had been used to replace worn out blades on the ship. Now these are custom designed for Queen Mary II and are very expensive, but it's nice to see all eight of them back on the bow of the ship. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this part two update interesting. And if you've sailed on board Queen Mary 2 since the refit, let me know what your favorite change is in the comments below. Once again, if I have missed anything in this part two update, let me know. But until next time, I hope to see you on board.